Today we are going to be working on a black and gray, dark, neo-traditional skull on a close friend of mine, Nick. We're going to be placing it on his outer calf. Let's get into the stencil. So what are you thinking going into this tattoo? Very lightly thinking about my approach. This piece has line work in it, so I'm gonna start with my lines. As you can see, I'm using a thicker line weight. This is a nine line. And I will contrast it with a skinny line, a three round liner. When doing these Neo pieces, I like to create good separation between my line weights to show a drastic increase or decrease with the lines. The line work is the foundation of the entire tattoo. You cannot rush this part. What we're looking for in the line work is consistency. The way to find that is approaching every line with the same needle depth, hand speed, angle. When we keep all these things the same, we will get the same line. All right, now you got the lines done, so what's next? What is next? We are shading. Yeah, so I have all the line work done. We took a little break, let it chill. It's kind of like a decent halfway point. In this style of shading, I will use my thick lines as a bumper to flick the needle off of, creating a nice shade or fade for the design. Typically, I'll start bottom right and finish the tattoo top left. This is for the lining and the shape. Let's talk about the setup. I'm using the Bishop Power Wand, the 4.2 stroke uh, for the shading. For all these thick boy lines, I was using the 5.0 Bishop. With the lining, I use a larger stroke, especially with the big boy lines, kind of helps me get them in there a little bit more solid. I am moving a little bit slower when I am pushing the big lines. With thinner lines, I may come down a little bit on the stroke, use a smaller stroke. This 4.2 that I'm using right now, I really can use this for everything. In the setup, I have mostly Bishop cartridges. Right now I'm using a Black Haw Type 3. Most of the shading with this needle, I might come in at the end with a mag just for those really dark areas to get that nice solid black in there. And I'm just using straight black. I have a little water cap out that I'll dip into sometimes really just to lubricate it. You can see me coloring in this lighter flower using extremely light hand pressure to get those soft fades. Sometimes I feel I have to be even more patient with my lighter areas than my darker. I'm working my way up the tattoo, typically starting with the darker shades first, sculpting the negative areas and moving into my lighter shades. I try to have most of my shading planned out prior to going into the piece. Sometimes I will make decisions in the tattoo. I try to avoid this if I can. You can see I laid down a few bloodlines in this piece. This was because I wanted to stay lighter in the face of the skull. By not having so many hard lines in that area will keep the appearance lighter. At the end of my shading, I will give the overall tattoo a final look. A lot of times I'll find little areas in the beginning of the tattoo or midway through the tattoo that I could improve, areas I could make darker. I feel like these last final steps or the last final touches make all the difference in the piece. And with that, we have our final product, a nice dark neo-traditional skull. The total tattoo time on this piece was about eight hours. Nick sat like a champ. We completed it obviously in one day. I love the dark, creepy, neo shit. Hopefully you did too. Thanks for watching.